Hey guys, it's Adam Jorgensen from Pragmatic Works, and I'm back here again with our Azure Everyday series to talk to you about the five components of a data strategy. And we talk to a lot of our customers about you know, what they're doing with their data, how they think about their data strategy, and the ones that are the most mature, the best customers, kind of have five things in mind, right? They're looking at five areas that they kind of prioritize in terms of strategy. And so what I wanna do is share those with you today in hopes that you can take those and use those to help grow your data strategy or help make your uh, company stronger in the way that they approach data. So number one is to identify their data. How do you source that data? What's the structure of it? Is there compliance requirements around it? All those kinds of things are super important. A lot of people might use a data dictionary or something like that to you know, really help identify and, uh, and measure that data. Second is provisioning that data. So how do you make it available? How do you share it? Third is how do you store that data? So once we've identified it and we've provisioned it, we made it available to people, where does it go? Does it go in a relational database? Does it go in cloud storage? Does it go in access databases? We're not gonna judge, we hope not, but we're not gonna judge. Um, then after we store it, we have to integrate it. So you hear people talk about intelligent applications and data-driven decision-making. How do we bring that data into the world of your users, your leaders, your managers, your reporting? How do we integrate that data between applications and data warehouses? Those are really important questions that need to be answered. It's something we spend a lot of time with our customers trying to help them with. Last but not least, we have to be able to govern that data. So how do we put policies and reporting and compliance around what we're doing with our data to make sure that we're following both you know, legal and geographic requirements, things like GDPR and other encryption and security requirements. These are all really important. So we have to identify the structure of our data, what data we have, we have to provision it correctly, we have to store it in a way that can make it available for provisioning, and then we have to make sure that we integrate it appropriately but on top of all of that, it's gotta be governed, it's gotta be managed. So if you feel like you're struggling with any of that or if you wanna talk about how you can make that better or how you can improve, we do a lot of that here at Pragmatic Works and we'd love to talk to you. So just click on the link below and we'd love to chat about it. Have a great day.